Right, welcome back to a brand new Goal Anger video and today is Northampton Town versus Derby County. I think there's about seven games remaining now of the season to go and we're here at Northampton Town ready for the match today which could see Derby County go seven points clear in second with it obviously only a couple of games being played today with it being the international break. What's my thoughts ahead of this one? Well, the home side Northampton, they come in to this game sitting 14th in League One. They've had a decent season after coming in up from League Two last season. They've, they've been pretty steady this season so far. Derby, as you know, like I mentioned, we're currently second in League One, looking to keep ourselves in the automatic promotion spots with another win today. Hopefully we can come out with three points in Northampton's last game. They lost 2-0 away to Wickham Wanderers. Derby in our last game, we had a massive three points win against Bolton Wanderers last Saturday. It was a huge victory. We saw us go four points clear in second. And we'll be hoping for more of those scenes today. So what's the score prediction ahead of this one? Well, it's going to be a tough one today. None of them are easy in that running. Northampton are sort of stuck in that middle of League One position. They're not, they're not going to be threatened by relegation. They're not going to be pushing for anything above. But they'll still be looking for the points today and a good result against a good Derby County side. But from my point of view, we really need to win, don't we? So in terms of my score prediction, I'm going to go with a 2-0 Derby County win. Northampton do have former Derby County man who was on loan last season from Norwich, currently on loan with them now in Tony Springett. He had a pretty average display for Derby County last season, but he's earned himself a move to Northampton this season. Last time I came to Northampton was about nine years ago in a pre-season friendly when I think Northampton were in League Two and we were in the Championship. How times have changed now, but hopefully Derby County can come out with three points. So I'll see you at Northampton. Turns inside out, three man at the back stick. First time finishing to the bottom corner, 1 0. Now, and as you know, it has ended Northampton Town 1, Derby County 0. Northampton take all three points and deservedly so, really. They had the best opportunity in the game and they finished it to make it 1 0 in that first half. Hoskins getting the goal with that first time finish on the volley. And it was a good move, it was an easy goal that we gifted to Northampton. I think there may be a disputed foul in there, but the balls play forward. Bradley doesn't put a challenge in, the ball's crossed in, and the man's free at the back post to, to tap it in to make it 1 0 with not really a reply from Derby County in that first half. We did have a couple of really good chances. Martin Waggon blazing a golden opportunity over the crossbar inside that about 15 yards in the box. He should have put it in to the back of the net. I can't really believe he's hit it over. It's harder to miss than score. Then we had another opportunity with Ebu Adams who headed the ball down into the ground. It went over the crossbar free header, which he should be doing better with. In the second half, we had an opportunity where I think we knocked it past the goalkeeper, but it was cleared off the line. And apart from that, we didn't really carve out any more opportunities. We tried to put pressure on Northampton, but there was too many player performances today that just weren't good enough. And Northampton deserved the three points in the end. They had good game management and they were well organised and they come out with the 1-0 score line obviously at the end Sonny Bradley was sent off in about the 90th minute or in the extra time um, 
poor from him. I'm not really sure how he gets back into the side when he returns from that suspension because he was poor today and, and that sending off at the end was just very silly um, and really disappointing to see. To not come away with the points today is really tough. We're making it difficult for ourselves. We've got some really tough fixtures now, especially the two in a row in Blackpool and Portsmouth. They're really difficult fixtures and we've not made it easier for ourselves dropping points today, but hopefully we can come back firing in the next couple of games. I'm hearing Mendes Lang is out as well which is really tough to take as well because he's a big player that we're missing now in the final couple of games remaining. So this one hasn't been too long or too energetic, but as you can tell, obviously, the, the performance today wasn't too exciting. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe, follow my social medias down below, and I'll see you in the next one.